Hello, welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss the CWP Secure CentOS kernel. CWP is now the world leading control panel on the market, providing the highest security isolation for each user, process, and service. For example, Apache, Nginx, Varnish, PHP CGI, PHP FPM, Crons, Shell Access, and User Panel at the kernel level. No other control panel has this kind of features or achieves this level of security for your server. CWP's latest integration provides the highest security at the kernel level, allowing us to secure the shared hosting system far beyond what other regular Linux systems can provide. While the latest and highest security is provided with our custom kernel, making your server system as secure as possible, we also have many other additional security tools to help ensure the highest possible levels of security. To ensure stability, CWP features cgroups, an open files limit per user, number of processes limit per user, number of Apache processes per user, Apache mod limits, and a MySQL limit for number of connections per user. To enhance server system security, CWP features the CWP kernel, the best, most important feature you need for your server, regardless if the server is for shared hosting or a single site, as it provides comprehensive server system security. And also SUPHP, Open Base Deer, PHP Disable Dangerous Functions, CSF and LFD Firewall Integration, Jailkit Chiroot Shell for Users, Secure Processes, Locking Users to See Only Their Own Processes, Hosts Allow and Deny Files, Maldeet Scan Integration, Linus Scan Integration, Simlink Scan, Our Custom Tool Searching for Simlinks, User Panel Login Security, User Panel Two-Factor Authorization, Admin Panel Access Per IP, for website security, CWP features mod security and file system lock, which is another unique CWP security feature that locks your public site files and prevents any changes, so no malware can be injected in the account or website. Here's how the CWP kernel works. Any file, application, socket, IP, port, network access, or server command is defined by policy. And based on that, CWP allows what each user, app, or program can access and do. This provides the highest possible security for your server system. For example, if a website on your server gets hacked and has injected malware, the hacker will be very limited and will not be able to run custom commands or spread the malware infection. It's also important to mention just a few of the example issues that the CWP kernel protects you from, such as Simlink attacks, which are most commonly used to hack all users on the server, execution of malware or custom scripts, access to server system files and folders like slash etc, slash var, slash usr, and slash home, and all others, access to slash temp, and slash var slash temp files, access to slash dev slash shm memory partition, custom scripts connecting to other servers and ports, malware crons running malicious processes, hacked user SSH access being used for running hacker scripts, hacked user SSH access being used for accessing the system files. The limited set of secure tested SSH commands are only available to users and many other threats are protected against as well. Currently, the CWP kernel is protecting the CWP user panel, the Apache web server, the Varnish web cache server, the Nginx web server, the user's crons and all applications running as cron, user SSH access, all PHP versions available in CWP in switcher, selector, and PHP FPM selector. Supported systems include all servers having the ability to install and run the default CentOS kernel. 
Systems that are not supported include OpenVZ and Cloud Linux. The CWP kernel rules were written by our server security experts, so you don't need to worry about it. But in case you have some custom apps requiring exceptions, we have also made an admin module in which you can enable and disable rules or even add custom rules and exceptions. To access the CWP secure kernel, go to the sidebar and open the security submenu. Then select a CWP secure kernel. This opens the CWP secure kernel module, where usage of the CWP secure kernel is very simple. Each tab represents the set of rules for each service. For example, under the cron tab, we see these services. And under the actions column, we can see that kernel protection is turned on for all services. This list of policies can have protection enabled or disabled for each of the processes this service can access or use. So for example, under the cron tab, policy PHP 5.4 would enable protection for crons to use PHP 5.4 in a secure way. That means that each and every PHP 5.4 action would be checked against kernel rules. The CWP tab is the set of rules for the CWP panel. The PHP CGI tab is for PHP switcher and PHP selector. The PHP FPM tab is for PHP FPM selector. The SSH tab is for shell access and jail kit. The web servers tab is for Apache, Nginx, Varnish, and SUPHP. And the disabled domains tab shows all disabled rules. If you have custom rules installed for this server, you will see those under the user defined tab. Note that after you are done making any changes, you need to click on the save and activate changes button at the top to deploy the changes. For installation instructions and detailed info, you can refer to the CWP Secure CentOS kernel article on the Control Web Panel wiki. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.